This is Star Talk. Gabe Sabo. Yes, Gabe. <laughs> Gabe uh, is coming. Last name. Uh, yes, Gabe is coming to us from Facebook and says, "Need a straight answer here, Bill. What equals a GMO, and what equals selective breeding?" Where is the line drawn? Well, that's a great question, Gabe. Well, it really is a great question. Look so, at you, Gabe. You show off. Yeah, yeah. And it's really good because okay, go ahead. And this is this is the question. When I wrote this chapter uh, in the first version of my book about evolution, I had a pretty clear idea in my mind about the distinction. And the distinction was whether or not humans were influencing it. That was my uh, idea, the influencing the genome. So if you breed within the species, mm -hmm. you shake, like George Washington used to take tweezers and a magnifying glass and shake the pollen from one wheat uh, plant onto the eggs, the ova of another, mm -hmm. to get a hybrid, a new type of wheat. That was within the species, intraspecies. Right. And I thought to myself, taking a gene from another species, let's say the Bacillus thuringiensis bacterium, and putting it in corn, BT corn. Okay. Uh, that would be. Did you uh, say B E T corn? Uh, no, no, that's that's different. I yeah, think. that's a television. Yeah, uh, that's outlet. Yeah, yeah exactly. And that's... I don't know what their relationship. I mean, they have bad jokes, <laughs> but I don't know if that's the same as B E T corn. Okay, corny <laughs> television. Right. Uh, but so we all ahead. have bad jokes. That would be an example there, mm. right there. So uh, anyway, I thought when I wrote the chapter, I thought, well, that's not a. That's a clear distinction, rather, that one's genetically modified in an extraordinary way okay. by bringing a gene from another genome, and another species, and putting it into the species of interest, uh, compared with shaking the pollen in the ova, which would be intra within the species. Within the However, species. Go ahead. It has been pointed out to me that, that, hap that these species uh, insert their genes into each other all the time in nature. And when I started the research... That, that I know, that I know. Sounds, I want you to think that way. That, I want you to think that, that way. That makes for lively speculation, yes, that's for does. sure. Anyway, so if you ever see a gall on the side of a tree, the big bulge. Yeah, the bulge. That's where a virus has not only infected the tree, but gotten its genes into the tree's cells. Nice. But then, as I was finishing research and turning in the final, uh, the word final, the last manuscript, version of the manuscript, this fabulous research came out about sweet potatoes. And so it turns out the sweet potatoes that you and I know and love, mm -hmm. presuming that you know them and love them. I do indeed. Uh, the, it's very difficult for a, a, a black person not to know and love sweet potatoes. It's just part of our culture. Okay. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm substantially banned to, according to a genetic, uh, genetic assay that was done on me. Uh-huh. Uh, and but I, and I love sweet potatoes. There you go, buddy. Coincidence. What I tell you. Coincidence. What I say, my fellow brother. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that aside, this, these genes from outside the sweet potatoes clearly got in there naturally. Right. Naturally. So that humans accelerate it, you can argue quite strongly, and for me convincingly, that this is what humans do. Uh, we hybridize plants either the old-fashioned way, George Washington's tweezers and, and magnifying glasses, right. glass, or the modern way with biotechnology. So what has happened at companies like Pioneer Seeds, which is part of DuPont, uh, ConAgra, and especially Monsanto, they have made the transition from being uh, chemical manufacturers, mm -hmm. industrial chemical manufacturers, fertilizer and per pesticides, into a bi biotech firms. Right. Like, and so you go there, everybody... All the scientists are geneticists. That's who they hire. They're not chemists so much anymore. This is Star Talk.